So my name is Ashlyn Adams and I am a senior. Um, here at SFA, I'm a nutrition and uh, dietetics major and um, I am the current president of Phi U Beta Epsilon chapter. Uh, my name is Sierra Smith. I am from McKinney, Texas, but I currently live in Nacogdoches. Um, I actually graduated from SFA spring 2020. Yay! I was the president of the Beta Upsilon chapter for the spring 2019 and the academic year 19 through 20. My name is Tracy Estep and I was the treasurer for the 2018-2019 school year. For the last semester of that school year, I was also the vice president of the Beta Upsilon chapter and for the 2019 to 2020 school year, I was the vice president. For our first year, we uh, placed second for our condiment drive and also our clothing drive that we had. We partnered with the East Texas Family Crisis Center and had a guest speaker come and speak to our members and share statistics and how to help those who are or have been victims of um, sexual or domestic abuse. And we also did a clothing donation drive for them where we collected clothing from on and off campus to be donated for their thrift store. So for the condiment drive, we wanted to do something different, like something, you know, you never heard of a condiment drive. In partnership with Hope Nacogdoches, helping other people eat, where we collected over 80 pounds of condiments, the ketchup, mustard, relish, peanut butter, things of that nature. And it was a need that uh, our local food banks, you know, had. And so we had organizations and on campus around the area just donate anything and everything that they could. We also cooked a dinner for 50 members of God Tell Ministries, which is one of our local homeless shelters. And we made them a spaghetti dinner with a fresh salad and garlic bread. And the fresh salad was a huge hit. They were so excited to have fresh vegetables. It was amazing. And then the uh, next year we actually which was amazing. Um, we were able to do a resource uh, resource fair and then also um, take what you need board for the middle schools here in Nacogdoches. We won the first place national award for our professional project, Shining Light and Joy in our community. We did several things with this project. We started out by getting a nap mat donation for children in the local independent school district who were, their parents were not able to purchase nap mats for them. So they were sleeping on a hard floor while their more fortunate peers were sleeping on nap mats. So we partnered with Walmart and donated 30 nap mats to take care of all the kids and have some extras. It was wonderful to see members step up and become leaders within our community. We're here for nine months of the year and so this is our home. Nacogdoches is our home, and we have to take care of the people here. And so it was amazing that our organization was able to do that. We partnered with over 30 different organizations on and off campus and had it as a full resource fair where families could come and get information from Lone Star Legal Aid. Um, we had all the local food pantries there. We had health clinics there that offer services on sliding price scales. We had student organizations participate. We had a fraternity that did children's activities. We had a bounce house there for children to be involved while their parents were going around and connecting with different resources in the community. We had a socks and underwear drive for that fall semester, and we were also able to donate Walmart cards for you know the children who needed you know clothing or supplies you know that families couldn't provide so we were able to do that for them. It was a wonderful experience being part of this chapter. Our professional project for the second half of the year was a lot different due to COVID. Um, so what we had to try and do was come up with a project that would still be beneficial to the um, public um, but do it so that social distancing guidelines were still in effect. So originally these bulletin boards were going to go up in local schools and they were intangible needs. So if a ch child was feeling like they needed love or hope or encouragement, they could walk by a bulletin board and pick out a note card from that envelope on the bulletin board and that intangible need is met. We were originally going to have like this big thing 
that uh, the social workers would use to um, take to the schools, but we couldn't do that because of touch points and things like that. So what we decided to do instead was do a take one, leave one card. So it could be anything from affirmations to just you're doing a great job, just things that would lift spirits. The note cards were able to go out with the free lunches that the Nacogdoches Independent School District was doing. So the cards were distributed and we were able to do nearly 900 cards that were distributed to students in the community.